Hi, I'm Jared Chester, part of the Bex PFR team at our London, Ohio site. With spring approaching, we want to take a little bit of time today to talk about downforce. Now, the reason why we want to talk about downforce today is because we believe it's, it's that critical, uh, mainly because it affects every farmer, it affects every planter, every row unit, every field, every year. It's one of those building blocks to making sure that we get our, our crop, whether it be corn or soybeans, off to an ideal start. So we're going to share a little bit about the information we know about it, and then also what we've learned through our studies in 2019. To me, downforce is a math equation. What we're trying to do as planter operators is maintain a constant set desired amount of force or weight on these gauge wheels so that we maintain ground contact and we are able to achieve that desired planting depth. But where the challenge lies is the amount of force to maintain that ground contact changes and it changes a lot, not only in uh, tillage conditions, field conditions, soil type, there's a lot of variability that we face as farmers throughout the same field or the same planter pass. And so how do we overcome that to maintain that desired force on those gauge wheels? Um, there's a few different options in terms of downforce systems out there. You've got your standard springs. Uh, from there, you can upgrade to an Air Force system. Uh, what we're running now is Delta Force made by Precision Planning. It's a reactive hydraulic downforce system. The great features about it and why we actually chose this system is that it can sense the ground contact and the weight on those gauge wheels multiple times per second. Uh, it individual, individualizes row per row, so it's not affecting the whole planner as one, but we're actually able to make those changes on the go row by row. So you can see that it's really helping us in terms of the variability that we face in our fields. In 2019, we set up a downforce study where we compared a reactive hydraulic downforce setting. We tried to compare that to what we consider a standard spring setting. So we set it up as a delta force being able to sense and react on the fly versus a constant setting of 50 pounds, 125 pounds, and 250 pounds to try and simulate that spring setting. Uh, the differences we saw from site to site were really neat. As you can see in our Ohio data, uh, you know, if we chose the wrong setting, which in Ohio happened to be 50 pounds, we lost close to 14 bushels per acre. Now look at the differences when we flip over to the central Illinois site. When we think about a lot of differences in terms of not only soil type, but also tillage. Ohio, we are no-tilling. There in, in central Illinois at our El Paso site, we are into work conventional ground. It's a lot looser, a lot loamier soil. And there the ideal setting, other than this delta force, was actually the 50 pound setting. Look what happens when we go to the 250 or the max setting. We actually lost close to seven bushels per acre. So really a lot of differences in terms of what we saw from PFR site to PFR site in 2019. Another observation we made was actually in a tillage study in 2019 where we looked at a fresh seed bed versus stale versus a no-till situation. In that fresh seed bed where we were in that field cultivator two days ahead of planting, it took a little over 200 pounds of downforce to keep that row unit in the ground. When we worked to a, a stale seed bed, which was worked two weeks ahead of planting, took close to 300 pounds, and when we jumped over to our no-till pass, we were up over 450 pounds of force required to keep that row unit at our desired depth. So you can see that there's a lot of variability when you start putting tillage practices into the mix. The other one that really stood out in terms of a learning from 2019 was downforce related to high speed. We saw that the faster you go, the more downforce that's required to keep that unit in the ground. I kind of think of it like a boat uh, on the lake. When you start going faster, that boat kind of wants to ride up out of the water and skim the top of the lake. Same thing with the planter units. It starts going faster, it wants to ride or creep up out of the ground, and it takes more force to keep those gauge wheels in contact and your desired planting depth. We learned a lot about this reactive hydraulic delta force system in 2019 our multi-location testing. We're going to continue to look at this system and going forward in 2020 on both corn and soybeans. If you've got any questions about this or any other PFR study, feel free to reach out to your local BEX representative or PFR team member. Thanks for watching and have a great day.